What's up guys, this is Will with Flores Lawn Service out here in Houston, Texas. So I made this video a couple months ago. I added a music track onto that video until I realized, uh, well somebody commented that the, the sound is terrible, you guys could hardly ever hear me. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just remake this video. Uh, <clears throat> so this is my 2022 lawn care solo setup. And so let's go ahead and just make it uh, pretty quick and simple. Um, we got the truck, we got a 2020. Toyota Tacoma guys uh, always have some type of decal or maybe the, the the car magnets that has your information on there um, sometimes people drive by sometimes people stop pull over um, to kind of get a sense of what you're doing and uh, if you have nothing that really gives them your information they can't go ahead and give you a call or or you know um, try to communicate with you um, so this was about 500 bucks um, again this is Houston price I don't know what you know something like this would go in other areas but this was 500 for the decals on this side the decals on the other side um the qr code the phone number and this small text here again it's on both sides and so that is really helpful um to kind of just go ahead and and gain <clears throat> customers and so we also have it out here in the back and so back here uh i cut some small branches but usually what i keep back here is the mixed gas which is here two gallon mix gas um some weed killer and then i know you can't see it but there's a three freak somewhere under there there it goes and so this is the only gas can that i that i um use and bring out with me i don't use a um what do you call it the big five gallon um clear gas cans because i just pump this in the morning all right so this takes about five gallons of gas that's way more than i even need for all the properties i'm usually doing you know 10 10 to 12 a day um and so that's the reason why i don't carry the the clean gas with me um then we also have the uh bag for the small mower um and then inside i won't go ahead and open it but all i keep in there is uh sometimes lappers um and uh string and then the fuel mix um again i'm not a big fan of just carrying stuff around that you don't need um so let's go ahead and get started with the mower. This is a five by eight single axle. Uh, I got this at Tractor Supply. Um, and so back here, I went, I went ahead and taped this up just for cautionary measures. Um, I went ahead and put, you know, Woody and Buzz down there. <clears throat> so right here we have steel BR600. I have the, uh, what do you call it, equipment defender rack. Guys, if you're not using something like this, please, 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 whatever you do, put some type of security in your blower, whether that's putting it right here in your uh, truck bed and then just uh, putting a chain through there, or maybe if you guys wanna just keep it inside and just lock your truck at all times. Um, guys, please just, just lock this up. I mean, I've had more blowers stolen from me than I'd like to admit. Um, and so the reason why I kind of bought the equipment defender rag was because when I put it over here, I'd have to chain it up, unlock it. And, you know, that was it, it took quite a bit of time, um, you know, doing that 10 or 12 times a day. And so this is pretty simple and fast. You just unhook it from here, open it up and you just pull it out. Right. It takes no more than five seconds. Um, then when you want to put it in, you just let's see if I can do this with one hand. Go ahead and put that in there. Put the blower in here you go ahead and you just cross this over and then the cool thing is that if you don't want to lock it you can just leave it like this um but then if you do want to lock it you just go ahead and put your little key in here and give it a turn and it's oops give it a turn and it's it's nice and secure that's not going anywhere and so people can come in here and uh steer your stuff um the problem with keeping your stuff is in here is man i've had people break my window just to get a blower um and then the one i had at that time was the 9010 echo um which was like the biggest blower you can get and so that sucked um and so guys if you don't have something like this please just just use a big old chain i think i, I think i still have that chain in here somewhere yep i should just use something like that um I mean, it's going to save you, what, 500, 600 bucks on the blower. Um, and then so back here, we have a Gravely 32. This has about now 90 something hours. It's 96, almost 100. 
Um, great little mower. All right, and so let's go to this side. So right here you have the um, Echo Edger. What is this? This is the uh, 2620, and this is also the 2620 SRM. Um, I decided to go with these because sometimes you have overgrown grass. You know, you kind of need a little bit more uh, extra power than the than the beginner models. Um, and so this is all I use. Weed eater, edger. Um, when, when you have overgrown edges, you need this. Uh, I'm not a big fan, again, of having a, maybe, you know, a backup string trimmer. Um, if you're taking care of your equipment, this should work just fine. So <clears throat> I don't see a point of, you know, having having three three trimmers on there if it's just me going out there and, and mowing all these properties. Um, just, guys, make sure you keep up with your equipment, take good care of it, and you should have no reason why you're carrying, you know, two back back blowers or two trimmers uh, as a backup. Um, and then this right here is the uh, Toro Time Master. <clears throat> I bought this last year, uh, and this was about eleven, eleven hundred when I bought it. And I think right now they're going for about. I was I was at the dealer two days ago, and it was uh, fifteen, fifteen fifty. Um, and so that's almost an extra four hundred, more than four hundred dollars. Um, I would not buy this for that price. I would just go spend an extra thousand on the commercial unit. Um, obviously, when I bought it, I thought it was a great decision. Um, again, for that price, it was. For the price that it's going for right now, it's it's not so great of a deal, I think. Um, regardless, it's still a pretty great mower. Um, I used this for the first, I want to say, maybe almost a year. Uh, it did an amazing job. I mean, it knocked my properties out, and, you know, a third of the time, I was able to get faster, quicker, get more properties done in a day. In a day. Um, and so that kind of just paid for everything that you see here, um, for this and this. Um, and so yeah, guys, that's it. I'll try to, I'll try to make some more videos. I'll make a video, a separate video on this, um, here in a second. But if you guys have any questions, um, maybe some stuff, uh, that you're wondering before you get into the lawn, lawn service industry, um, just leave, leave a comment below. I'll try to answer, um, what I can. If I don't, then. I know, you know, I'm not a professional. I mean, I am a professional, but I haven't done this for, you know, five or 10 years. This is my second season. Um, and so I'm still kind of learning myself. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope, I hope you guys have a good day out there and, uh, yeah.